How come you eat so much Indian food and never gain weight? Well, that's a question that I'm going to answer in today's video. So if you want to know everything, make sure to stick around until the end. Hi, my name is Ivana and I have lived in Bangalore, India now for three and a half years. Obviously living in India, I indulge in a lot of Indian food and of course also street food. However, I do not gain weight. And in today's video, I'm going to show you everything that I eat in a day to give you an idea of how I normally eat because I don't always eat like I eat in my videos. If you want to know exactly the healthy habits that I use to stay fit and also actually lose weight when I need to, I have a complete video of that on my personal channel and I have linked that video down in the description below. But without further ado, let's get into what I eat in a day, particularly India food. Let's start with breakfast and the reality is that I don't have any breakfast. I do intermittent fasting which means that I only eat during a set period of time during the day. I fully explain that in the video on my personal channel. Again, it is linked down in the description below. So usually my day will start out with just a glass of regular water because you do need to hydrate after at least eight hours of sleep or my favorite a mug of hot water and then I will add this lychee oil which I really really love. It's only one drop of oil so extremely economical to use but it will give it an lychee tea experience and I love to have that on my balcony and to slowly wake up in the morning. Due to intermittent fasting my first meal of the day will be the earliest at around 2 p.m. which is lunchtime. For lunch, I hate to think about too many options. So what will happen in reality is that I will pick one dish and I will eat that until I'm completely sick and tired of it every single day. Last year, it was paneer borji with rice, which I still really, really love. If I'm making my own lunch, nine out of 10 times, it will be just rice with paneer borji. Sometimes these days, I still have that too. But the one dish that I am right now completely obsessed with is this subway sandwich with tandoori tofu. Tofu, in case you don't know, is a soy protein. It's kind of the soy variety of paneer, but with less calories. And with the tandoori spices, oh my gosh, it gets such a good flavor. So I love this tandoori tofu subway sandwich and I've been having it now for months as my lunch because I don't like thinking about too many lunch options. If I'm not having that, I will definitely have something South Indian because when I am working the rest of the afternoon, I do feel that North Indian food in general is just a bit too heavy and it clouds my mind. South Indian food is a lot less heavy. Two of my favorite South Indian options for lunch if I'm not having the Subway Tandoori Tofu Sub are Puttu, which is steamed rice cakes from Kerala with kadala curry, which is a black chickpea curry. Oh my gosh, I love this option so much because it's quite light, but it really, really fills me up. I really, really love this dish called majige or majiga. It depends on the Indian state where you are, how you pronounce it. Basically, it's a vegetable curry with butter, uh, buttermilk. So good because it's spicy, but then it's also a little bit sour. That with rice so good it will fill me up but again it will not make me feel too heavy so i keep a clear mind when i'm working the rest of the afternoon in the afternoon i love my chai i think it's impossible to live in india and not have any chai but i cannot have it on a daily basis because here's a confession chai actually makes me feel high yep that's right. I cannot tolerate caffeine anyway, so I never used to drink any of those energy drinks or coffee, but chai is just too good. However, it does contain black tea, which contains caffeine, and it legit makes me feel high. After I drink chai, and it has happened so many times by now that I can legit also make that claim, I will start feeling super happy. The whole world is good. There's peace on earth. I love everybody. It's crazy. This happens to me every single time when I drink chai. Therefore, I cannot have it too often. I usually have it half days of the week. So I will start drinking it on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, because sometimes also I have difficulty sleeping after I have chai. So if I have to wake up early the next day, I probably won't have chai on that day. Usually I will also have 
two cups of chai on a day if I am having chai because I freaking love it so much. I am honestly not the best chai maker. I know how to make chai, but my favorite chai ever is from Tata Cha here in Bangalore. Their chai is just absolutely perfect according to my taste. There's enough milk in there. There's enough ginger there. Oh, it's so good. I also really, really like Chai Point Chai. Their ginger sugarless chai so good half of the time i will make my own chai half of the time i will order my chai or if i'm outdoors i will usually also order chai despite popular perception raised by me <laughs> i do not have a snack every single time i have chai i love my parlaji i love having it with chai in case you don't know parlaji is this very specific indian biscuit that most indian kids eat when they are young so there are also a lot of childhood memories attached to it for most indians for me it just it tastes freaking amazing. The texture is super, super crumbly, which means that it will very easily break in your tea. But the, the sugariness is also very specific for Parlaji. So I really, really love it. And I actually treat it as a real treat. So once in a while, I will have Parlaji with my tea when I feel like it. During the rest of the afternoon, I will not have any snacks. If I'm really, really hungry, I might have a slice of toast, but that is it. I usually get by on just two cups of chai if I'm having that for the day or otherwise I will be having even more hot water. I'm not really a snack person anymore. I used to be but nowadays I'm just not really into snacks. Arriving at dinner and for dinner I am really 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 into North Indian food. Yeah I really like having a heavy dinner because after that I will get sleepy and I will actually sleep better. My favorite options for dinner these days are from basically this one restaurant called Oi Hoi. If you are here and if you have Oi Hoi available on your Swiggy trust me order their Baigan Kabarta with the rotis. It is addictive i swear that i can literally have this five days out of the week and i will not get bored by it nothing sponsored in this video by the way i just freaking love this dish if you watch my day in my life videos i've already mentioned this before but i'm just obsessed with it most of my dinner options these days are from oi hoi actually because the other option that i really really like to have for dinner is their jeera rice which also has a little bit of ghee in it oh, which is so good and then with their chole their chole is also good oh it's a chickpea curry but it's more smoky and a little bit more salty i would say than a kadla curry so good and so satisfying and the final dish that i really really like from this restaurant is gobi paratha so cauliflower mm, savory pancake with their rajma rajma is a punjabi red kidney curry and again it tastes very different than the other bean dishes somebody recently mentioned that oh it's so weird why are you having paratha first of all for dinner and then also with rajma who does that fun fact i actually learned that from a punjabi and punjabis are known as one of the biggest foodies in india so don't blame me i just learned from the best foodies <laughs> just try it and thank me later if you're wondering Ivana don't you cook any food for dinner mm, if I really really feel like it but if I'm being very honest ordering food here in India is so easy it is honestly not that much more expensive than cooking my own food and it is so tasty especially when you discover a restaurant that you really really like like I did with Oi Hoi I have enough options to have variety in my diet and I really like it and it's super super convenient so yeah, nine out of 10 times, I will just order out food and it tastes delicious. After dinner, half of the time, I will have ice cream for dessert. And my favorite place here in Bangalore is Art of the Light, which is actually owned by one of my friends. Their ice cream is so smooth, so silky, so full of flavor. <sighs> In case you haven't tried Art of the Light ice cream, make sure to try it. My favorite flavor is Rocky Road, which has nuts in it and chocolate chunks. It's so good. I just take one scoop of ice cream after dinner and it really, really satisfies my cravings. I never used to be an ice cream person at all because I get cold very easily and ice cream makes me feel cold. But here when the weather is hot and nowadays it's still quite warm, 
I love having ice cream after dinner. That's something that India really changed me in because I live in such warm weather most of the days nowadays. I can actually have ice cream more often and I really, really enjoy it. But I can't have that every single day because it's just too many calories. And again, like I mentioned, I explained everything about how I monitor my calories and intermittent fasting and everything in the video on my personal channel. So if you would like to know more in depth how I keep track of my food, um, you can check that video out down below. Now I'm very curious, did my eating habits surprise you or did you actually suspect that I was eating this healthy? A lot of people tend to think when they see an Indian street food video that I eat like that on a daily basis and I'm like, it's just one video a week. So whenever I'm filming it, it's just one day a week when I eat like that. And probably after I have so much Indian street food on a day, I'm having soup for dinner <laughs> because I'm just too full. So that's a bubble that I tried to burst with this video. And I hope I gave you a better perspective on what I really eat on a daily basis because it's a lot healthier than you would see in my Indian street food videos. If you enjoyed this video and you thought it was helpful, make sure to put a thumbs up. Also, you can share it with your friends and family if you want more people to see my videos. You can consider subscribing to my channel if you would like to see more of my videos. Join 230,000 plus other subscribers. It's free and you'll get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.